without further ado, I would like to invite John to take the stand. Good afternoon. It's a pleasure to be here. For, uh, to get a chance to sit in front of everybody. We're, we're in the midst of our busiest time of the year, I'm happy to say. Um, uh, and I'll walk you through a little bit of why, but it's pretty obvious. But we also are uh, very happy to be uh, to have joined and work with the cast membership. Um, Eric talks about the need for testing and validation. Uh, Life Alert's been testing for 21 years, um, and uh, it's working pretty well so far. But I'll walk you through a little bit more about how it's not just the technology that you see um, if you happen to have uh, one of your parents uh, or aged people that you may have seen with the equipment of uh, either from us or from one of our competitors. Uh, more than 90% of victims who fall are not within reach of the telephone. And you may look at that 2050 continuum uh, evolution that we're in, you're going to say, well, but they're all going to have cell phones, so they'll have the cell phone sitting on their hip. Um, I can't tell you, it's amazing how many of the, I'm going to call them, we call them mid-seniors, they're 65 to 70, because our average age is upwards into 82. Um, and you would think that they would all have their cell phones with them, but they all look at us like we're crazy, like, why would I carry my cell phone? We're like, you know, that's a good idea, that's all right. As long as you carry that pendant, you keep that pendant near you, you're going to be doing just fine. Um, but, and, and Eric also mentioned the, the tremendous impact of the falls. It really, really, we see it every day. It is the beginning of the end in a lot of cases. Um, and where we are privileged to get a chance to get to that person much, much sooner than they might have in, in the ordinary circumstances. And if you go on our website, you'll see real testimonials from people who we have absolutely saved lives by virtue of getting to them sooner and getting their caregiver or getting their neighbor. Or the neighbor is our, our best ally in, in our system. Um, so it really does make a difference. We're actually able to add almost five to five and a half years of staying in the home versus going to a nursing home um, based on studies that we've done. I was sitting at, uh, as I said, this is our busiest time. All of you have just come from the holidays where you may have seen your parent, grandparent um, for the first time in a month or two and you notice a degradation and you get around the dinner table and everybody goes, okay, what are we going to do with mom? Um, I was sitting in Connecticut with my family, we were having dinner and I couldn't help it over here. I had two sons, uh, two sons, three, uh, two, yeah, two sons, three sisters all sitting around having dinner going, all right, did you see mom? You know, they had all come from a, an event. We gotta do something. This, this isn't gonna work. We can't be on our own. We've all got busy careers. Um, we've got our own children. Um, you know, and, and as it talked about, you know, two thirds of, of everyone becoming a caregiver, they're all trying to fit that caregiving time into a very, very small segment of their lives and yet feel good about the care that they can give and the attention. And I couldn't help myself. I walked over and said, I'm not part of the sales department, but here's a business card. Because um, they were in the midst of talking about life alert. Um, so I said, if you have any questions, I'm happy to have uh, dessert with you. Really, be my privilege. So, um, we really uh, are, are very privileged. We, we have made a significant difference for a lot of people. Every 26 minutes, we save somebody from a catastrophic event. Um, this is just a quick breakdown. We monitor all of our signals. Uh, we keep track of all the alarm history event. Uh, we track all the way to the hospital. Uh, we track to the caregiver. We track to, the, to what we call the contacts to see the outcome and to make sure that everybody's okay. This is the equipment that you see, and, and this is what people view to be our technology. But I'll take you to where our real technology is and, and, and our people. But as you see, the, the unit up in the top left is our typical unit. Um, has 150 to 300 feet in home uh, available signal of uh, wireless. Our 911 phone, which has become very popular, down in the lower right hand corner for out of home, for being out of home. Uh, our wristwatch up in the top right has just been announced and that will be coming out. Um, I think it will it will ease people's availability of wearing the pendant. We have a lot of people, I've talked to a lady 85 years of age. She takes 21 medicines. She's had three heart bypass. She goes, I'm not wearing that pen. I'm not old enough. I said, God bless you, man. It's okay. I said, if you feel that way, but we finally talked her into it. 
And more and more, we're trying to put smoke and CO detection, especially over the northeast, where we have a lot of carbon-based uh, heating uh, opportunities. Um, we've done an enormous job in saving some people and saving families. Um, the smoke detectors, everybody, you know, you look at your home and you say, well, I've got smoke detectors. And how many of those batteries have gone off at 2 in the morning and you're like, oh, God, I just can't take it anymore. You pull it down and you put it away. Okay? And you know, that's it. I'll take care of that problem. Um, ours are supervised. Every 30 seconds, we know that that uh, device is, is emitting a signal to us. And we have been very fortunate to save a lot of people uh, when it comes to the fires on, the, uh, uh, on their uh, stoves and things like that. But here's the real difference. Here's, here's where, yes, it's technology. We have a central station in Encino, California that monitors 50 states in the United States. Within 20 miles in a separate uh, power grid and a separate phone grid, CO grid, we have an entire second central station that is available within 31 minutes that sits underneath LAX, under, underground, as our, our fallback central station. And it's all about that technology. But more importantly, it's about those people you see there sitting. Our average age of our dispatchers in average tenure is 9 to 11 years. We have some that have been with us 17 to 20 years. And it's all about them. It's all about their love for what they do. We have people that call us We talk about being connected. We, we, this is what offers a connection. But after that connection, it's what we do. It's making sure that Mrs. Smith is okay. She loves to call us. In, in the morning and make sure she's okay. Um, as we do a lot of other things, wellness checks, so we really do, we're connected for safety, but we also are connected to assure wellness and to assure their health. Thank you very much.